Chicago, Illinois. Chicago police are attempting to pull over this Hyundai. Suddenly, the driver attempts to flee but gets T-boned by this Infinity. But in the most Chicago thing ever, the Infinity was actually also fleeing the Chicago PD. Fortunately, everybody in all three cars, except for the driver of the Hyundai, will be alright. Now this is in line with how dangerous Chicago has become, as hits can go down at gas stations and it almost doesn't even register in the news. But this doesn't stop Chicago's mayor Lori Lightfoot from being outraged at people losing their lives in Colorado. And I get it, what happened in Colorado is a tragedy, and the gun person deserves to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But as you can see, people are actually calling out Lightfoot for being more concerned about making political points than actually keeping her community safe. Now that article is from the sponsor of today's video, Ground News, where they actually compile articles on news stories but show you their bias and who owns the publishers, showing the story on Lightfoot's tweet and the potential blind spots due to who's reporting on it. Which to me means either one side of the political spectrum is using the story to push their narrative or it means the other side is trying to hide that story from from their readers. But Ground News displays the ratings on the publishers beside the headlines to show how it impacts their framing. But I really enjoy Ground News' Blind Spotter tool, where you can see different social media accounts and who they typically interact with. Looking at my Twitter, they report me being center right. But more importantly, they show who actually owns the media outlets I consume. So click my link in the description for ground.news decoy to see the media bias of everything around you. But Chicago being out of control is nothing new, where we see this street takeover ending in five getting hit with rounds and sadly three losing their lives. Or listen to how nonchalant their coppers are on finding half of a torso that they're looking for. Ma'am, I just want to let you know that there is a uh, part of a body in, in the garbage, a torso. But, uh, earlier this week, we had the lower half of a body missing a torso and above, so, you know, maybe we found it. Now even back in July, it looked like Chicago PD couldn't even control their citizens from getting into arguments. Oh my god, oh my god! They couldn't even stop people from stealing jackets. But apparently this wasn't just any jacket, but a Montclair jacket, which some can go for $1,600. So it kind of makes sense when criminals in Chicago are treating the streets like Grand Theft Auto on PS5. Or is it called PlayStation Now because now you don't even need a PlayStation to play GTA in Chicago. But it wouldn't be fair to only call out Chicago cops. Because look at Deep Blue Kansas City in Missouri. These police officers are trying to arrest a guy only for them to get twerked on. Or this copper having to flex his bank account just to get respect. So unfortunately, we're watching society slowly erode in front of our eyes. But the dinosaur media is just too busy trying to sleepwalk you into the oncoming comet. They'll write fluff pieces about Chicago's mayor tweeting outrage about what happened in Colorado, but ignore the fact that when actual journalists call her out for her lies on skyrocketing crime, they get silenced. So when liberal cities are becoming insanely dangerous, you would think it would have an impact on them during the midterm elections. But no, looking at the midterm results on Politico, Deep Blue Chicago is going to stay Deep Blue Chicago. Even when they already know the SAFE-T Act is going to be activated on January 1st, 2023. And the Illinois purge will actually commence. So congratulations, Chicago voters. You just put the rights of criminals above the safety of your average citizen. And all this crazy footage from Chicago 2022 is going to look like Sesame Street compared to Chicago 2023. So if you appreciate my concise, no BS commentary on current events, please subscribe to this channel. Then check out my video on what's really going on in Los Angeles because they're likely hiding it from you.